Telegram boss spotted leaving French court, newly released video shows Telegram founder Pavel Durov leaving a court in Paris after being arrested last weekend. Pavel Durov, founder and CEO of the messaging app Telegram, was seen walking out of a parking lot while police watched his every move. Durov was wearing a black shirt and black hat and was escorted by several people into a private car. Before the car left, the Telegram boss did not answer any questions from reporters waiting outside. The Paris prosecutor's office announced on August 28 that the court had indicted Durov on six charges, including complicity in distributing child pornography, drug trafficking, money laundering, and refusing to provide information and documents at the request of competent authorities. Paris prosecutor Laure Bico said the judge had concluded that there were grounds for a formal investigation into the case. As a result, the telegram boss has been placed under judicial supervision and banned from leaving France for the time being. Mr. Duroff was released on bail of more than $5 million, but must report to police twice a week. Mr. Duroff, 39, was arrested by police at Paris L.E. Bourget Airport when his private plane from Azerbaijan landed in Paris. French President Emmanuel Macron said Mr. Duroff was arrested for a judicial investigation, not for political reasons. Mr. Duroff was born and raised in Russia. He left Russia in 2014 after losing control of his former social media company, V. Kontakti. He refused to comply with government demands to block opposition groups on the platform and would not hand over data on Ukrainian protesters to security services. He moved to Dubai in 2017 and became a French citizen in August 2021. The businessman is said to be worth more than $15 billion. Telegram is one of the world's largest social media platforms, with nearly 1 billion users. It is one of the largest social media platforms after Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp, Instagram, TikTok, and WeChat. Earlier this year, Mr. Duroff said that some governments were trying to exert pressure, but Telegram remained neutral and unaffected by geopolitical factors. After Russia launched its military campaign in Ukraine in 2022, Telegram became the main platform for both Russia and Ukraine to report on the fighting and political situation surrounding the conflict. The app has become a favorite media outlet for Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and officials in his administration. The Kremlin and the Russian government also use the app to spread Russian propaganda. The app is also one of the few platforms where Russians can access news about the war in Ukraine. According to RT. Why are so many countries concerned about Telegram CEO's arrest? On slash the New York Times. That has pitted free speech advocates like Pavel Durov who has taken a hands-off approach to running Telegram, and Elon Musk, who owns X, against regulators and policymakers. Telegram, which Pavel Durov founded in Russia in 2013, has more than 900 million users. The app functions as a messaging app, similar to WhatsApp or I'm Sage, but also hosts groups of up to 200,000 users and has other channels with broadcast capabilities to help reach even wider audiences. The platform's lax monitoring of content could make it a haven for harmful content. Telegram has yet to comment on Duroff's arrest. A representative for the Dubai, United Arab Emirates, UAE-based company said it complies with EU law and that it is absurd to claim that a platform or the owner of a platform is responsible for the misuse of that platform. Daniel Lyons, a professor of internet regulation at Boston College Law School, said the charges against Pavel Durov could prompt social networks and other internet platforms to be more aggressive in moderating their sites to ensure they are not breaking the law. Daphne Keller, a professor of internet law at Stanford Law School, said Pavel Durov and Telegram are distinctly different from large platforms like Meta and Google, which have more robust trust and safety teams that can take down illegal content and respond to law enforcement requests. In France, Complex criminal cases like the one against Pavel Durov are initiated by prosecutors but are ultimately handled by special judges with broad investigative powers who charge defendants when they believe the evidence points to serious wrongdoing. Judges can then drop charges if they do not believe the evidence is sufficient to proceed to trial, and cases can take years meaning a quick resolution of Pavel Durov's case is unlikely. David Kay, a former UN monitor of global freedom of expression, said the Pavel Durov case could have widespread consequences especially if authoritarian states use it as a precedent to prosecute high-ranking tech executives. Concerns for both Russia and Ukraine The arrest of Telegram CEO Pavel Durov in France is causing concern for both Russia and Ukraine, as the Telegram platform is the main communication tool for soldiers and civilians amid the war. 
Some Russian military bloggers believe that this is part of the West's war against Moscow, as Telegram is the main means of communication for Russian soldiers. They believe that Western intelligence could exploit a lot of sensitive data of the Russian military if they get the key to decrypt Telegram messages from CEO Pavel Durov. According to the legal process, Mr. Pavel Durov has not been found guilty or will be tried, the court's announcement shows that the judges believe there is enough evidence to continue the investigation. The investigation, if conducted, could last for years or be cancelled. According to New York Times, Bloomberg,